Chairman, uh, your critics say that these claims are dubious, that they're part of a broader political campaign to undermine the legal safeguards against discrimination that Mr. Perez was protecting. Your response? Well, unfortunately, that's exactly the question that should be asked. Why wouldn't you want the U.S. Supreme Court to make a decision as to a civil rights claim? Also, why would this president, who signed a new strengthened whistleblower statute, want a whistleblower backed up? Uh, the $200 million is, is not the principle here. The principle here is whistleblowers come forward. They do so to our benefit. Key TAM cases, as they're called, are about recovering money uh, that the federal government gets cheated out of, and that's why our committee is so involved in it. But from a standpoint of civil justice, Senator Grassley and Chairman Goodlatte are involved in the whole question of what was uh, Mr. Perez's constitutional duty. He had a constitutional duty to support and defend. He also had limited role in that he went outside his role to strike this secret deal, flew to Minnesota to strike a secret deal, and now on one hand they're saying there was nothing wrong with the deal, and then they're trying to say there was no deal. Well, clearly, we, we, was it, clearly was a deal. We heard a little bit from the former uh, Justice Department official on that. Skeptics might say uh, that there is some timing behind this report, that this is all being released ahead of the Senate confirmation hearing that was scheduled for Thursday uh, for Mr. Perez. Is your intention to delay or prevent him from getting confirmed as Labor Secretary? Well, first of all, we do think that the president should seriously consider whether this person who has made statements both before the inspector general, remember this is an investigation that's been going on for a while, the fact is before both career people within the administration and before our committee, he has made statements that lack candor. That's not my statement, it's an IG statement. So lack candor is code word that if you're not a lawyer means he basically didn't tell the whole truth or he lied. So those statements which are in our report, the details of how he met, went, misled are important. More importantly, this is somebody who's supposed to have the highest standard as an attorney. He clearly did not tell the truth about private emails he had. When confronted with it, he said, well, I only had one private email. We don't know that to be true. So before he goes forward to a full cabinet position, it would be good to know how often he plays fast and loose with the truth and whether or not he's been circumventing the Federal sure. Records Act more than once. We'll continue to watch this story. Uh, Labor Secretary is an important position, especially given the economy, so we'll continue to follow it. Congressman Issa, just a quick question for you. Yes. Uh, Reuters had a report out citing unnamed congressional sources, so I just want to make sure our viewers are clear on that, that in some ways that Republicans in the House of Representatives are devising ways to delay and weaken the gun legislation that could be coming out of the Senate. How would you characterize the work of Republicans, and where do you stand on where that, that legislation that is coming from the Senate, uh, where it will end up in the House. Well, the amazing thing to me is that the Senate is proposing fixes that would not have had anything to do with what the tragedy in Connecticut. I'm certainly for trying to find real fixes that would prevent a seriously dangerous individual from getting training and guns from his perfectly entitled mother. Uh, that is something to look at, and we want to prevent gun tragedies. But let's remember, the fix has to match the problem, and they're, they're right now very disconnected. So would I like to see proper background checks? Would I like to see people who are either felons or uh, mentally ill not get weapons? Absolutely. And I think on that, the House is united. Congressman, it's a pleasure to have you. Always look forward to having you back.